Welcome to the Carnival Venezia and welcome to New York. I'm going to do a full walkthrough ship tour. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to go ahead and get started on the upper decks. We're going to take this tour deck by deck. So you're going to be able to see the whole ship. Let me give you a preview of deck 10. Here is the main pool. To the left is Java Blue. To the right is Rococo's. Right over here is Guy's Burger Joint. Straight through here is the buffet area. And all the way to the back is the Seafood Shack, Pizza Del Capitano, and the Burano Pool. Let's head on back to the main pool area. It's themed after the Italian Riviera. When you look around the ship, you'll notice many different types of memorabilia and statues of Venice. The main pool area here is in a solarium, but that roof is retractable. Over in the corner here is Tomodoro. This is a fast food Mexican and Italian restaurant. You'll mainly find Mexican dishes, but you'll also find things like a meatball sub or a Sicilian chicken wrap. Over here is the burger spot. This guy's burger joint has an Italian flair. For example, you can get a pepperoni pizza burger or a super melty moots. Don't bother with ordering tomatoes, lettuce, ketchup, or mayonnaise because you can head right over here to the toppings bar. Right across the pool deck here is Rococo's. This is a frozen drink heaven. Order a strawberry daiquiri, a pina colada. Also, they have excellent limoncello. Remember, this is Italian themed ship, so you're going to find a wide variety of Italian drinks on board. Over here is Java Blue. Java Blue is a specialty cafe. Besides a wide variety of coffee drinks, espressos, cappuccinos, Americanos, Irish coffee, you can also get things like gelato, milkshakes, and donuts. Let's head on out of Java Blue. Take a look at this. If we look up and go up a deck, we're gonna go into Pergola. Take a look at this bar. Not a lot of people know about it, so it's usually empty. So it is a perfect place to grab a drink. Across from Pergola, you'll find a couple of games to play. There's ping pong, bocce ball, and foosball. You can also find a nice setting, nice comfortable seating to sit back and relax. Grab one of these chairs right here and just check out the view. If we go down a deck, we're gonna go right into the Lido Marketplace. This is the buffet area. A lot of the areas are repetitive. However, in the back is where you're gonna find the deli and the sweet spot. Now keep in mind that the Carnival Venezia is a lot different from a lot of the other Carnival ships. But if you wanna book either one, make sure you give me a call. You'll be so glad that you did because is what we do is we provide you with a discounted rate. We are still gonna give you all the promotions that the cruise line is offering you. But in addition, we're gonna make sure that when you book your cabin, we're going to give you an amazing discount and you're going to love it. So make sure you give us a call. Keep in mind that to get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer, you must give us a call because these are unpublished rates. Going outside of the buffet, you're going to find the Burano Pool and Bar. Here you're going to find a couple of hot tubs and nice places to sit and relax so that you can enjoy the sun. Because the other pool has the solarium and you don't get a lot of sun there, it's recommended that if you want to grab some sun, you come on over here. Right over here is the Seafood Shack, which is a huge favorite among cruisers. Everything here is a la carte. You can enjoy all kinds of seafood like crab legs, shrimp, and fish. Right across the way is Pizza Del Capitano. You can get many different types of pizzas. They're open until late, so a lot of people come here late night after a good night of drinking. Let's head on up a deck. I just want to give you a quick preview. Remember this area? There are the foosball tables, the ping pong, and the bocce ball. Right over here to the right is the basketball court. Toward the back is the smoking area. And then all the way to the back, look at this, is the Burano pool again. This is the smoking area. Or you can smoke in the casino. Over here is the basketball court. It's a full basketball court, but they also offer a lot of other activities here, such as dodgeball, or you can play soccer. Sometimes they'll have other types of championships. So just check the app. Right in front of the basketball court is a little outside workout area. So as what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the serenity area. We're going to go up a deck. We're going to go right through here. If you look down, you'll see the water slides. To the left is the solarium. Over here is the sports court. Toward the back is the top of the basketball court, the outside workout area, and here is the Burano pool. Let's head on over to the sports court. The sports court is right here in the middle of the ship. 
is what I really like about the sports court is the mini golf and the bean bag toss. Throughout the cruise, they will have competitions, so keep an eye out for that. The last cruise that we were on, they actually did a competition by country and Canada one. I wasn't too happy about that, but he was pretty good at it. If you look above here, you'll see the ropes course. Is what's really cool about the ropes course is when you're at sea, oh, is it shaky and scary. It's a lot of fun, so try it out. Here you're also gonna find the warehouse. To play these games, you're just gonna need your key card. You do not spend any money while you are on board the ship unless you wanna give out some tips. Over here are the water slides. This is the waterworks area. It consists of a couple of water slides and a splash pad. Is what a lot of cruisers appreciated about the Carnival Waterworks area on this ship is that it is completely separate from the main pool. That way, folks, you can enjoy yourselves and so can the kids. Let's take a look at the Cloud9 Spa and Fitness Center. I really like this fitness center. It's all the way at the front of the ship. It has beautiful views. It's nice to be able to come in here in the morning and jump on a treadmill, get your exercise in while you're going into port. You can also use free weights. They have plenty of machines. There are also stair masters. So it's a full gym and you can also get into many different types of classes. If you head on into the locker room, take a look at this. There is a nice little thalassotherapy pool and sauna. And you can use these if you're gonna get a massage or any type of spa service. Let's head on into the Serenity Adult area. This area is all the way at the front of the ship here at the top. It's an adult only area and take a look at it because it's a lot different from any other carnival ship. There are plenty of comfortable places to sit back and relax. You can really enjoy the views. If you look around, you can see all of the buildings in New York. There's a bar right here at the front. So it is a very nice spot to grab a drink. You can grab one of these tables, sit underneath an umbrella and just enjoy the views. Let's head to deck five. These are the fun shops. Right here is the piano bar and teppanyaki. Over here is the Sushi Place and Fahrenheit Steakhouse. This is the Amari Bar. Right past that is the Frizzante Bar and Il Viaggio. Then Pixels. Right after that is the Gondola Lounge. And then all the way here to the back is the Carnivale Bar and Lounge. And then right outside here is the Terrassa Carnivale. Let's take a look at the Terrassa Carnivale. It's one of my favorite spots. It's so cool. It's all the way here at the back of the ships and it has perfect views of the oceans. If you look around, you can see all the buildings right here in New York. There are a couple of hot tubs back here, so it's really nice. It's an exclusive area. So this area is just for people who have booked a Terrassa Carnivale stateroom. Over here is the Carnivale Bar. Now this is also a really cool bar. It's not exclusive. Anybody can come in to this bar. Take a look at the decor, the sofas and the chairs. It's an elegant place to just stop on by and have a drink. It's a perfect spot to come in before or after dinner is what I really liked was the live music. It really puts you in to the mood. Speaking of live music, another nice entertaining spot is the Gondola Lounge. Right before you walk into the lounge, there's a bar right over here to the left, which has nice windows and a revolving door, which takes you out onto Ocean Plaza. Here in the Gondola Lounge, you can enjoy many different types of entertainment. During the day, you can enjoy activities. Toward the evening, you can enjoy live music. And at night, definitely some dancing. Over here in the corner, tasty appetizers are served throughout the cruise. Just drop on by, grab one, hang out here in the gondola lounge, listen to some music and grab a drink. Check out this bridge. You'll find this in Venice. If we go out through the revolving door, we're gonna go right on, on to Ocean Plaza. This goes all the way around the ship. A popular spot out here is La Strada Grill, where you can enjoy sandwiches, barbecue, salads, and sides. There are plenty of places to sit and relax. There are a few sofas, chairs, and nice tables where you can relax. Let's head on back in. We're still on deck five. This is Pixels. This is where you're gonna be able to see the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on board the ship. This is Frizzante. This is an Italian bar. You can enjoy a wide variety of 
bubbly drinks. You can get Prosecco, spritzes. Try an Aperol spritz. Those are really popular in Italy. They become popular all over now. They offer many different types of Italian beers and throughout the day, order a coffee with the Scotty. Over here is the Italian restaurant, Il Viaggio. Come on in if you would like a high-end meal, which will take you on a tour of Italy. Check this out. Each of the menu items has a description of the ingredients. It's amazing. Keep in mind that it is part of the specialty dining. And if you'd like to know the difference between specialty and complimentary, I've placed a link of all the dining options down below the description of the video. Let's head on over to Amare. Here, a mixologist is gonna craft a cocktail strictly to the way you like it. All the professionals here are highly trained so that they're gonna make your drink perfect. It's an elevated cocktail experience, but is what I thought was really cool is that it's right here in the middle and it's open. So it's a cool spot to hang out with friends and just enjoy each other's company. Right across the way here is Banzai Sushi. The sushi here is a la carte. I recommend sitting over here at the sushi bar. It's a lot of fun watching the sushi masters do their thing. Across from Banzai Sushi is Banzai Teppanyaki. This is where the chefs cook the Japanese meals right in front of you. Now, if you're with a big party, it's possible that you will all sit together. However, if you're with a smaller party, most likely they're gonna group you up with somebody else. If you'd like to get a specialty steak, you can head right on in to Fahrenheit Steakhouse. When you first walk in, you'll notice the amazing decor from ceiling all the way down to the red carpet. Keep in mind that you can either dine in or outside. I recommend dining outside if the weather is nice. It's nice to enjoy your meal with a nice cool breeze. Over here is the piano bar. When you think of the piano bar, just think of live music as you sing along. Most of the people that come in here are prepared to have a good time. They like to hear those old songs by Billy Joel and Elton John, have a few drinks and just enjoy singing with others. The true aficionados are the ones that like to sit around the piano. And the piano player, hey, he's gonna bring you on in and he's gonna make the show a lot of fun. Let's keep heading down deck five. Remember, we're going toward the front of the ship. Right here, you're gonna find all the fun shops. Keep in mind that throughout the cruise, they do offer amazing deals. So make sure you check that out and keep an eye out for that. You can get a watch at a really good price. Over here is the salon. So most of the salons are in the spa, but on this ship, you're gonna find it right here. Let's take a look at Teatro Rosso. This is the ship's theater. It's all the way here at the front of the ship. It looks exactly like a classic Italian theater. Here you're gonna be able to enjoy one of the best shows on the Carnival Fleet, which is Color My World. The only other ship that it has debuted on is the Carnival Celebration. One of my favorite things to do is come over to Bar Rosso before a show begins and grab a drink. Now, if you get here early enough and you're just with your spouse and you guys wanna grab one of these stools at the bar, you can do that. It's an amazing spot to watch a show. Let's preview deck four. Right here are the Fun Shops, Cherry on Top, and Dream Studio. Right past that is the Casino. Right behind the casino is the Heroes Tribute Bar, then the Art Gallery. Toward the back here is the Limelight Lounge, and then all the way to the back is Canal Grande Restaurant. This is one of the main dining rooms. It spans two decks. Probably the most amazing thing about this restaurant is that there is a gondola right here in the center. If you look all the way around the restaurant, then you'll notice that it has an al fresco type setting. So it feels like you're on the streets of Venice. This restaurant is mainly set up for my time dining, so you can come on in anytime it's open. This is the Limelight Lounge. This venue offers live music, karaoke, late night comedy shows, art auctions, and it turns into the club when it gets really late. So come on in and get your groove on. All of these artworks are for sale. They're going to auction some of them off, or you can just ask the price. Let's take a look at Heroes. This is a sports bar which is dedicated to those who have fought and served in the military. 
There are nice comfortable stools at the bar. You can sit in a couch or a chair. Let's take a look at the casino. One thing that this casino does not have, which a lot of other casinos have on cruise ships is a bar, but you can still enjoy roulette, craps, you can enjoy tournaments. You can get into a blackjack tournament or a Texas Hold'em tournament. They have plenty of blackjack tables, plenty of slot machines. Actually, this ship, it looked like they had more slot machines than anything. Let's head on up toward the front. We're gonna go to the atrium. And when we go up to the atrium, we're gonna go right by a cherry on top. Here you can enjoy a wide variety of candies and sweets. Down there is the atrium. It's called the Piazza of San Marco. Right in the center of the bar is the Lion of Venice. Here you'll enjoy a nice atmosphere with live music throughout the entire cruise. You can hear violin players or a DJ. They will offer parties in here. The captain does his Toast of Venice in here. You'll also find guest services and the shore excursions desk here. If you have any questions, you can just come on over to guest services. They'll help you out with what Ever you need. On the other side of the guest services desk is the shore excursions desk. I recommend that you reserve all your shore excursions online. Let's take a look at the Marco Polo dining room. This is also part of the main dining. It's 100% complimentary. If you have a set dining time, then you will be coming in to this dining room and you'll know because it'll be on your key card. So here's what will happen. When you call us to book your cruise, we're gonna go ahead and assign you a dining time. And then when you get on the ship, that dining time, it's gonna be on your key card. Thank you for joining me on the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, to get the best rate guaranteed, give me a call. My number is right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.